Wow, I have some amazing God news. God is really moving in Hollywood, in reality television, in all of the arts, media, and entertainment. Reality star Black China, who used to date Tyga, who's with Kylie Jenner, and then also Rob Kardashian, gave her life to Jesus. She announced publicly that she is a born again Christian who no longer wants to be called Black China. She wants to be called by her real name, which is Angela White. Watch this. China, but she's reconnecting with God and not shying away from her newfound beliefs, revealing she was recently born again after getting baptized on her 34th birthday. Her new journey prompting her to make a complete lifestyle change by quitting OnlyFans, calling it degrading, reversing... Oh, and that's another thing. She quit OnlyFans. It's amazing. God is really moving. You know, I've been praying for her when I saw her and I heard she's suing the Kardashians and there's all this drama. So I said, Lord, help these people. You know, they don't know. They don't realize. Some of them know that they're serving the devil. Some of them don't understand that. Some of them don't realize if you're by default, if you don't serve God, you are actually serving the devil. I've been there. I was an atheist. I didn't believe in God. I didn't realize that I was actually serving the devil, dancing with the devil, in bed with the devil, when I could be serving an amazing God who loves me so much, who's given me so much and wants to bless my future, my family, my kids, everything. So God bless her coming out publicly. She's on Fox News and it's just amazing. So proud of her. Before I continue, I want to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of this video. Noble Gold Investments is pleased to let you know that gold is the best investment class for 2023. Real estate, crypto, stocks, and bonds, gold outperformed them all in 2022. So what are you waiting for? Noble Gold Investments has helped thousands of clients buy real physical gold. Open a gold IRA or a silver IRA with Noble Gold Investments this month and receive a free one quarter ounce American Eagle coin with every qualifying purchase. Find out more at noblegoldinvestments.com. Again, that's noblegoldinvestments.com. All of her plastic surgery and now embracing her birth. Oh yeah, so she quit OnlyFans, but she's also went back and removed all of her plastic surgery. I think her chest area and I thought I think also her bottom area. She got rid of all of it to glorify God. Amen. Name again. Angela White, also known as Black China, joins us now. Angela, it's so great to have you on the show today. You're your birth name is Angela, which means messenger from God, an angel. Uh wow. Actually, that's her birth name. That's so cool. My birth name, Anna, means beauty, grace, and favor. What does your birth name mean? By the way, everyone has a name the Lord handpicked for you, and there's a meaning behind it. So her name means uh, messenger messenger or angel. Praise God. Um, so we're going to be referring to you as your new name, and we love it. So tell us about this journey. What is it? Um, when did you g g get born again? How did you come to this transformation? It's quite remarkable. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Look at her face brightly shining. That's the countenance of the Lord. Before, it was all depressing looking and just so dark. Everything, when you are serving the devil, you have a dark black countenance. Look at her beautiful smile. I mean... She had a real encounter. She's born again. Hallelujah. All glory to God. Um, good morning. So honestly, I got I got baptized on my birthday. So I was reborn on my birthday. And this was last year, 2022. And, and Angela, tell us, you know, tell us why this was important, not just to be born again, but also. That's amazing. She got born again on her birthday. That is really cool. For me, I wasn't born again on my birthday, but the Lord had me release my testimony publicly of my born again experience. He had me hold it many months and he told me on the day of my birthday in the morning, he said, release it today. Praise God. God is, God's amazing. So to walk away from so much that you'd embraced over the last couple of years, only fans and for that matter, plastic surgery. Why was it important to make that change in lifestyle? It was really important for me, not only just for myself, but spiritually. And I really want to set an example for my daughter's dream. You know, I want to make sure that, you know, anything that I do, like I want to be a positive reflection on her life and the generations to come. Amen. Because she's not only influencing millions and millions of people watching her around the world, but also her children, her daughter, her daughter dream. 
Amen. What a dream come true for her daughter to see her mom delivered from jealousy, from covetousness, from greed, all of it. Look at her countenance. I'm just in awe of the Lord. Was there a moment in particular where you said, you know, the things of this world are not fulfilling to me. Uh, you know, I need a higher purpose. Yes. Honestly, for me, I was like, like, this is too much. It's time for a change. This is not really who I am. And I, something just came over me, like the Holy Spirit came over me. And I was like, you know what? I need to figure out what's my purpose in life. Like, why am I here? Oh, that's a great question. Why are we here? I remember when I was a kid wondering, what am I doing here? What's my purpose? What's my future? This is a question that everyone has. Every human being has. Our purpose is to worship God. We were created to worship God, to know our Lord who created us. So this is an epiphany she had. Hallelujah. God answered her. Like in, in the way that I was living, I was like, you know, I, I don't like the way I'm, that I'm living. So I had to make a change so I could start walking into my own truth. And I feel like for me, that's very important. You know, you talk about setting an example for your daughter, Dream, who is beautiful. Um, but you're also setting an example yes. for a lot of young women. I mean, OnlyFans has become so normalized. Um, and of course, you were a big star on there. So what would you say to other young women? Who Thank God I never made an OnlyFans. Glory to God. Because I've had people message me when I was on Survivor. You should start an OnlyFans. You should open an OnlyFans. I had no idea what that even was. Thank God I didn't even look into it. I don't even think I would have done it anyway. But years later, someone mentioned OnlyFans. I'm like, what is that? And they told me this is where girls take their clothes off and you have to pay for it. It's a private thing you can hold online and people can come and watch you naked and pay money. I was like, oh my God, that's so demonic. Thank God I was, I was in the world and I quickly got saved after Survivor. So thank God are, as you described, uh, debasing themselves, degrading themselves on that um, platform um, sexually. For me, I, I will honestly say if it's if it's something that you're going through and you really just have to make the money, do it, but also to get out of it. Because to me, it's always, it's going to be a dead end. Anytime. Okay, this is where I disagree with her. You don't have to take your clothes off and make a little money to get out of a bad situation. You have to put your faith, not in your body. You have to put faith in the body of Jesus, right? You have to put faith in Jesus. He will take you out of it without having you take your clothes off. So she's a baby Christian. So I understand her mentality is not um, up to speed with the Bible and with faith. But in Jesus name, she'll she'll learn. I've, I've been there. I've said some baby things and eh, I, I wouldn't recommend that. I'm something is like fast money it never ends well and it's like you never want to chase the money you always want to attract money and like the reason why I even started the OnlyFans because I was dealing with so many lawsuits so many this so many that and I was scared to lose everything so I kind of went to you see you're either driven by faith or by fear she was driven by fear so she jumped on OnlyFans that's why I don't recommend anyone be driven by fear and start an OnlyFans because the world is coming to an end. No, thank God. It's not coming to an end just yet. <laughs> Put your faith in Jesus. Read his word. Follow him. Look up. Get your daily instruction. Get your daily bread. And he will guide you and deliver you and help you financially. But you also have to ask him, right? The Bible says the Lord said, Jesus said, you receive not because you ask not. So there's times where I'm like, Lord, I have this extra bill to pay. What do I do? How do I do it? Can you help me? What do you, what should I do? And he'll tell me. So, so good he is. So we ask him and focus our eyes on him, not on ourselves, our own body. We focus on Jesus. Something which I knew wasn't right, but I just wanted to use it at that time just to get through it. And honestly, like when I got baptized, I knew like God told me like, you do not need to be doing this. Like, this is not, this is not why I put you here to be doing to degrade yourself because our bodies is a temple. Mm -hmm. Is it, oh, yeah. that phrase right there, your body's a temple. I assume, tell us about your thought process yes. on plastic surgery. Um, that Amen. Our body is a temple. So watch this. She's going to talk about her viewpoints on plastic surgery now and also reversing it in her own body. This was an important step as well for you to go about reversing your plastic surgery. As far as reversing the surgery, it was really, really important for me because what I had got was illegal um, 
silicone injections. And what happens is some girls, they get it. But for me, like sometimes I would kind of like fall like ill and fall kind of sick from it. And the older that I get, I'm starting to realize like I want to be here for my kids. I want to have, you know, my grandkids. I want to be running around like I want to just get this out of my body because obviously it's going to in the long term make me sick and i came out so publicly because i want to let other women know that that you can die from this um i've had you know cases where i've i've also obviously researched it where girls um can't reverse it and now they have to like undergo a procedure where they cut you from your lower back and then have to scrape out everything. And, you know, and for the women, it's really, it makes them really, really, really sad. And I I just want to, like, warn women just not to do it. It's not worth it because you can possibly die from it. You could fall ill. It could travel to your lungs, mm-hmm. migrate to different parts of your body. Discoloration, disfigurement. So, ladies, like, just don't, just don't do it. Like, don't do it. And if you do decide to do, like, a BBL or any cosmetics, you know, make sure you do the research because everybody aren't, everybody isn't certified plastic surgeons. And they can be injecting you with anything. You never know, like, what they're putting into into your body. She's right about that. You don't know what they're putting in their body. It's also dangerous. You have to be careful. You're also risking your life. That's another reason why I wouldn't go under the knife at all for whatever reason, unless it's like an emergency health procedure. But even with that, I'm like, Lord, I have faith in you that you're going to heal me supernaturally that I don't even need a surgery because all of it's really dangerous. And I didn't know that about the illegal silicon butt injections that it's actually toxic and harmful for you. And and that makes sense. I, I just didn't know that it was also... Uh, it was illegal. I didn't, I didn't know that. It can be, yeah, it can be whatever. We don't know. So for me, when I got it, when I was 19, I was young and naive. So I didn't know about all like. But good for her for talking about it on national television and reversing her harmful silicone illegal injections that are actually harming her. And it's toxic for her. So thank you for speaking out to young women out there and even men. I mean, there are people that put it in their forearms, men. I don't know why they put it in their forearms. They look ridiculous. And I've seen the atrocious videos out there. My God, it's not attractive at all. So thank you, Angela, for talking about this. There's another video posted that I want to share, and this is her removing her tattoo. She had that was blasphemy. If you look really closely, you'll see There's like this, turn it sideways. There's this demon looking thing on a woman's body with angel wings, but you see it's like a face of a goat. And so she had it removed. Praise God. Watch this. super painful. But what I love about Angela here is that she's practicing what she's preaching. She's now removing (laughs) these ungodly demonic tattoos on her body. Now I have friends who are Christians who have had tattoos done when they didn't know the Lord. A lot of them kept their tattoos. Most of them are just like silly ones. Um, But obviously with her tattoo, there's a demon on her arm and I would, I don't blame her. I would take that thing right off too. I don't have any tattoos. Thank you, Jesus. But I love that she's taking it off to honor God. She said, this is a holy temple. I repent, Lord. I don't want this. I don't want any covenants with the devil on my arm. Again, I'm not religious, so I'm not against tattoos. If you want to, you know, I I don't think you should get one as a Christian, but if you already have it on your body, you know, I actually thought about putting Jesus on my hand, on, on my wrist right here, but I thought better of it. And I said, no, Lauren, I don't need to tattoo anything on my body because you're already tattooed on my heart. So hallelujah. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. This is incredible. We're praying for the rest of Hollywood and the rest of arts, media, and entertainment to be radically saved, to be born again, to be full of the Holy Ghost, and shape this world and influence a generation that does not know the God that created them and that loves them. So in Jesus' name, we bless you, Angela White. I'm so thankful 
that you are born again, hallelujah, and may it be a testimony to everyone else watching, and especially the Kardashians, that they also give their life to Jesus and follow your lead in Jesus' name.